Hi, thank you for joining me today in prayer as we continue our journey through the Sermon on the Mount. Um, we stop at Matthew 7, 1 through 5. Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while the log is in your eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. I'm sitting here in the field of dandelions, um, and you can see the potential behind me. I have um, my poppies, which have just put out their big, huge ball that is going to turn into this gorgeous orange flower. And my peonies are bursting, ready to open, where they will let off their sweet fragrance. But not yet. and pray today to think about our potential, what could be and will be and is possible. I invite you to close your eyes and I want you to think about those spaces that haven't opened up yet, that potential that is just waiting to burst forth. And breathe in and release your breath. Breathe in. Release your breath. God, sometimes your word is so hard. Sometimes judging is so easy. Sometimes my log is so big. Sometimes that speck is blinding. Do not judge. But what about... God, there are so many ways I can fill that space, that pause. There are so many places where we see the things that cause harm, pain, and grief. Where there doesn't have to be that harm, that pain, that grief. When we could choose love, we instead choose judgment. So help me see my log. Help me see the places where I judge. Help me see where I'm a hypocrite. Help me learn to aid my neighbor, to see them clearly, to see their eyes, to understand their specks, to share how we can always wash our eyes clean. God, this week we think about potential. We think about that new life that is about to burst open. There are so many of us in this community that are getting ready to welcome a new baby in. Some to a first time mom, some to a first time grandma, some time to a first time great grandmother. That new life, that potential, that spark that is growing, that divinity within that is ready to come out into the world. God, we ask you to be with those families, those new mothers and fathers. God, we ask you to be with our farmers as they've planted their seeds in the ground, hoping for that new life to grow and blossom and nourish the world. God, we bring before you the potential, the potential we have in this place, this people, this community, to share your love, to share your hope, to share your peace. God bless us and bless those around us. Draw near to our families and our friends. Be with them as they cry out to you the prayer of their heart. And we pray, oh God, that your kingdom come, that your will will be done. Amen.